9. Getting the left hand ready to use fingers on the strings. So, you can go over it in your little booklet. I'll give you a short version. We are rest position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The left hand, which we haven't been using, will now be used. You go up the neck, down the neck. Up. So you pizzicato with your left hand pinky. If your left hand pinky doesn't want to do it, then you have to go back to lesson two, to those exercises that I showed you, with a pressing, because then you haven't pressed enough to build up your muscles. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now press your left hand pinky on the G down, and slide. Slide up, slide down, slide up. Not easy. Stop the DVD, practice that for five minutes. Now that you've done that for five minutes, shake your left hand, breathe in and out. Roll your head a bit. Step one, two, three, four, five. Left hand, slide backwards so that the hand is there where the ears are, the tuning pegs. Keep it round over the strings. Put your right thumb underneath the fingerboard for pizzicato. Pizzicato G four times. Now put your Peter pointer, your index, on the tippy of the finger. Press it down on the G and listen. Lift it up. Press it down. Without this hand going, Never. Always out. Stop the DVD. Do that a few times. In between, always shake your arm. Take a rest. Center yourself. Now what you did on the G now, do it on the D. Then you do it on the A. Then you do it on the E. It's going to take you quite a while to get there. But that is what you have to do now. Now, once you've done that, I wrote here, your finger might feel a little bit tender, a little bit sore. It's normal. These are strings that's made of metal. Your finger is made of flesh. It's soft. So in the beginning, you have to press very hard and it's going to be a little bit sore. Go and do something else. Go play PlayStation. Go and watch whoever on the TV, then come back and try again. If you feel you want to practice violin but this lesson 9 is hurting your finger, go back and do lesson 6. Go back and do lesson 2. Go back and do lesson 3. You can now start mixing and matching your lessons. Once you've done all of that and you feel strong, we do the five steps always. We've got our bow hold. You know now how to do that. And we go. Tiki, tiki, da, da, one down. One up. One down. And you repeat and you repeat. D, A and E, same thing. Finger down. Finger up. And watch the way I'm bowing, boys and girls. It's not like that. Straight. Finger down. And can you see how I hold my hand? Always up straight. Never like that. Never ever, because then you can, can't put your fingers down properly. Always in a big arch. 
Once you've done it, arco tiki tiki tuck tuck, then you do it. Peter pan, Peter pan. Then pancake, pancake. Let me explain to you what I mean. If, for instance, I do Peter pan on A. Peter pan, finger down. Peter pan, finger up. Peter pan, finger down. Peter pan, finger up. Or if I choose I love my mommy, let's say E. I love my mommy, finger down. I love my mommy, finger up. I love my mommy. If you're not sure now and you're confused as to what is going on, stop the DVD, rewind. It's all very clear what I have said before. This lesson will take you long to practice. Remember... If I say lesson one, two, three, it doesn't mean lesson one is on Monday, lesson two is on Tuesday, like that. You can stay on lesson three, for instance, for three weeks. You have to do the lesson until you are 100% done with it. You are able to do pancake, finger down, pancake, finger up, pancake, finger down. You must be able to do it 100% right before you can continue to the next lesson. Bye!